Welcome back to our Tasmania road trip adventure. Today I am giving you a travel guide on Murray Island, a little island in Greece coast Tasmania and has everything you want to see in Tasmania. This is a great place to see wombats. They are everywhere. It has convict heritage sites, amazing wildlife, beautiful rock formations and it is a great place for few days camping, hiking and cycling. It is never a busy place to visit, which is great since you will have enough space to exploit yourself. When I was first planning our Tasmania trip, Maria Island was not at the top of the list. But we are glad that we allocated a full day tour by bicycle to visit Maria Island. Here's my guide on visiting Maria Island. To get to Maria Island, you will need to take a 30 minute passenger ferry ride. The ferry sails to and from island multiple times a day from small town of Trabuana. There is plenty of free parking near the ferry dock. You can book tickets online for the ferry and bicycles and tickets should be presented when boarding the ferry. If you are taking your own bicycles, you need to pay extra at the ticket office. You will also need a proof of national park pass at the check-in. The only way to explore this little island is by bicycle or by foot. You are allowed to carry one bag up to 7 kilos. So please make sure you take all essentials including food, drink, medication, warm clothes, hiking shoes as there are no shops or restaurants at the island. To get around Maria Island you need a bicycle which you can hire at the island. This can be hired ahead of your trip. You will be provided with a map at the ticket office which will make it easier for you to find places. There are a couple of highlights in the island I highly recommend you to visit. Let's start from famous painted cliffs. Just a short half an hour from Jetty, the brightly colored sandstone rocks at painted cliffs are probably the most photographed place on Mari Island. Strict and patterned with iron oxide layers giving them a fascinating painted appearance. The main convict site on Maria Island are in the former town of Darlington. The site has remained relatively unchanged since the convict era. Wildlife. Since this is an island national park with no residents, no cars and no predators, it is a heaven to native Tasmanian animals. They are used to tourists. So Maria Island is probably the best place to see wildlife. Fossil Cliffs the fossil cliffs are considered one of the best examples of life 250 million years ago. With a vast number of shellfish fossils embedded in the limestone cliffs. Those are the main places to cover on a day trip. But if you are planning to spend a night or two at the island, you will get a chance to explore further south of the island with many walking tracks and beautiful beaches. If you want to stay overnight in Maria Island, there are only two choices for accommodation. Camping or staying in an old penitentiary. No bookings needed if you go camping, but you need to register at the park office near the jetty area. Our trip to Maria Island was beyond my expectation. It was one of the highlights of our Tasmania trip and I am sure it will never disappoint you. 